Hey guys, so um, you know I wanted to do a video of top five single malts, uh, which one must try, and which are you know suitable for most palates. And of course, I had the usual suspects. I had um, whiskey such as Macallan Gold. I had whiskey such as Glenfiddich 18, and whiskey such as um, Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. Um, maybe. Um, one or two more single malts but I then came to the realization that there are not that many uh, scotch single malts in the world now you might think what is Kamar saying there are so many whiskies out there but you would be surprised at how limited how few distilleries actually exist in Scotland you know you would think there will be a top 10 smoky uh, whiskey or top 10 ILA whiskey distilleries, but you'd be surprised. There is just Lafroig, you have uh, Baumor, you have uh, uh, Kalila, you have Kiloman, you have another one which starts with a B, which I haven't tried personally. And you'd be surprised to find that there are not that many options, you know, overall. Of course, some people uh, might differ on this, but there are not that many single malt distilleries in the world. Um, there are not that many Scotch whiskies in the world. Um, and this came as a bit of a sad surprise to me because I wanted to try more whiskies, but I have realized that I have tried more or less most of them, you know, and at this stage, there are not that many left to try. So what does that leave me with? It leaves me with wanting to try the American whiskies. I feel that a lot of American whiskies which have not been, um, which I haven't really scanned. There are some Irish whiskies and that's about it. So I do want to foray into trying more American brands, um, you know, and see what they're about. At the same time, I want to, you know, dab whiskies such as um, Lagavulin and Dalmore. Uh, Glen Morangi Signet, um, also, um, what's that brand, man? Um, what's that brand, dude? Jora, Jora, Cabalan. Uh, I want to try some more Indian whiskeys, uh, like Godavan, I think it's an Indian whiskey, which I want to try, but I haven't really found that many options, you know, of late. I, I of course, I've been sober, but when I'm sober, I'm often plotting what I must do next and what will create an actual impact and what will um, actually be the, the next best step forward, you know. And having said that, I realized that there are very few whiskeys out there. There's not much, many options, you know. Um, of course, you can say I can foray into gin and all that, but I don't think gin has that... Um, ultimate drunkenness which uh, whiskey can give you i don't think drink is on uh, gin is on the same level you know i think there is a, a major difference between gin and um, um, whiskey so i'm left with a few options i can either foray into beer and i have an amazing idea for a beer video um, but um, it's kind of difficult to do all this on my own and frankly, I find it very boring when I have guests. I feel like I'm, uh, they have a different way of, um, you know, reviewing, or they have no way of reviewing. And, you know, I don't think they understand the drink the way I do. Uh, having said that, I don't think many people understand whiskey the way I do. I feel I, I do have a great knowledge about it. And I'm, I'm thankful that after reviewing so many whiskeys, I, I have that uh, ability. And, um, Purists will always say whatever they will, but I have finally started respecting my, my standpoint for alcohol and, and I genuinely feel I have something to offer. It took a long while, but there you have it. Having said that, uh, um, I might foray into a video where I try all the cheap whiskeys out there. Um, you know, I might foray into uh, trying more, um, you know. See, the problem with trying whiskeys which nobody is going to drink is that very few people will actually care about it so even if i do a glenn Moranji signet video i think very few people will care about it and i'll be twenty thousand rupees down so it doesn't make much sense in me trying something like that whereas um, 
if I'm trying something like, um, um, you know, a Royal Challenge or let's say even a Teacher's Highland Reserve or, uh, you know, a Monkey Shoulder Smoke Whiskey, if I can find that, or even a Johnny Walker, I feel there are more people who will try something like that. Whereas the whiskeys which cost 10,000 plus, I think it's just, it's eventually just like masturbation, you know, to actually try something like that. There's no reason I should do that unless I really want to spend money without wanting to get it back, you know. So I feel I don't need to try all that. And I'm going to do less of those whiskeys which nobody can afford and I'm just trying it just to, you know, to everybody I, I i don't want to be that guy because i'm not that person you know i'm not an i'm not an asshole contrary to common belief um you know i want to try something which i would actually buy would i ever buy a six a six thousand rupee whiskey and drink alone i don't think i have the heart to do that and of course i i play uh, I'm, I'm breaking character right now but i really don't think there are many whiskeys for which i would spend six thousand rupees fuck that a glenfiddich 15 costing six thousand bucks is it worth it hell no dude a shiv is costing uh, 4,000. Is it worth it? Yes. Um, maybe uh, a Santori Toki costing 4,000. Is it worth it? Yes. But is a shiv is 18 worth it for 6,000 rupees? No. Don't buy it. Is a Johnny Walker 18 worth 8,000, 9,000 rupees for everyday drinking? No. You don't need to buy it. You know, is a Glenfiddich 21 worth it for 20, 30,000 rupees? Hell no, dude. You know? And uh, I've been sober for 35 days, so I'm, I just thought I'll come here and just have a chat about whiskey. And uh, yeah, man. Um, I was about to drink yesterday and my wife told me that, uh, you know, I should go another week. And I love her so much to make because she made sure I don't drink. She called for some pepperoni pizza, knowing very well that after having pepperoni pizza, I will not be able to drink. So I did not drink and I'm so grateful to Ganika for it, you know, and um, she's okay, you know what I mean? And um, apart from that, um, we remain sober and we count days until we are released. Um, I feel this kind of sadness at how petty my life has become where the story of my life is alcohol whether I'm going sober or whether I'm on alcohol. But um, maybe that's why I'm making this video because of how petty and, and strange my life has become, you know, now. And it's just, uh, it's so common, you know. And um, yeah, so um, if you're watching this video and you're hating it, I'm gonna recommend you 10 whiskeys, which I think is worth the price for watching this video. Number one, Bushmills. Number two, Jameson, if you can find a good original bottle. Number three, Teacher's Highland Reserve. Number four, Suntory Toki. Number five, a Glenlivet 12. Number six, um, Kalila. Number seven, um, Rockford Reserve. Number eight, All Seasons. Number nine, um, Lafroy 10. And number 10 would be Amrul Fusion. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, my God, I've been going on for about nine minutes, but uh, I'll be back soon, dude. Uh, I don't know if I should release the video for the gin, which I have done, Tanqueray. I think it is me completely lost. And many of you people don't even know what's happening in my life and will assume it's, it's a relevant new video, but that's okay. I think some people are just a bit illiterate. Peace out, guys.